Hi, I'm Ray Baker from Backtrack Adventures. The fitter you are, the more you're going to enjoy your trek. So please take some time to do some training. Try and replicate what you're going to be doing on your trek. And for most treks, that's walking up and downhill. Your training will also give you the opportunity to test out the clothing and equipment that you're going to be taking on the trek. Great opportunity to wear in the boots, good opportunity to get used to your pack and your walking stick and the clothing that you're going to be wearing. There's going to be times on your trek where you're going to be walking uphill for a long time. The thing to do is to conserve your energy. The way to do that is to walk only as fast as you can comfortably breathe. So let your breathing dictate the pace you're going to walk uphill. Get into a slow, steady rhythm. When you get to the top, you won't be distressed. You won't collapse in a screaming heat. You'll be relaxed, comfortable, take a short break, and then you're ready to move on. It's when you're walking downhill where most injuries are likely to occur. So you have to go very slowly, carefully, keep your eye on the trail at all times in front of you, and also protect your knees. When you're walking downhill for two, three hours at a time, it's gonna put a lot of stress on your knees. So what you do is, you walk to save your knees. And that is, instead of your knees taking all the pressure, you put the pressure on your quad muscles. The way to do that is, you drop your weight, you bend your knees, and you land on a bended knee. 